Hey friends, Daniel here with the Lead Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. All landing pages and sites you create within your Lead Pages account contain their own on page pop ups. During this tech tip, let's dive into how to view those pop ups, create an on page pop up, edit an on page pop up, and even delete an on page pop up. Now, before we dive into the fun here within our Lead Pages account, I just want to note that we do offer another form of pop up, and these are known as standalone pop ups. They are found under the conversion tools pop up section of your account. One thing to note is that pop ups created under the conversion tools pop up section of your account will not appear within a page to select. Pages will have their own on page pop ups unique to that particular page. So let's go ahead and jump into a page that I have created here. And as we pull up the builder, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and view our on-page pop-ups. To do this, we're gonna use a clickable action item on the page, like say for example, a button, text, or image widget, where we can view all of those pop-ups. So currently, I do have a button on my page here, and as I put my mouse over it, I do see the option for edit pop-up. And this just alerts me that this button is currently connected to a pop-up, but I can always change what the button is linked to, and also view all of my pop-ups present on the page by saying edit click event. Now what this will do is it will bring me into the link option in the menu. If I were to highlight some text or even click on an image widget, and I'm just gonna show you by highlighting some text here, I also have that link option where I can view and link this action item. Let's go ahead and go back to my button though. I'm gonna use that, and let's go back to edit click event. Now right away I do have open a pop-up selected, but if this were not selected, so say for example, no link was selected, I could say open a pop-up. When I do so, I'm gonna have this nice little drop-down menu as I'm on this screen, and I do see that I have two pop-ups present within my page. Now I had been linking to my pop-up one, and I know that I want to use my pop-up one, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at my pop-up two. So I'll go ahead and say my pop-up two and edit pop-up. When I do so, I can take a look at the pop-up and even edit it. But if I decide it's not something I'm going to be using, I do want to remove it from my page. I only want to have the pop-ups that I'm going to be using present in my page. So I'm going to go ahead and just click out here. I'm going to go back to my edit click event and I'm going to, for my pop-up too, I'm going to say delete pop-up. Now I'm going to get this nice little alert that says, are you sure you want to delete and the name of your pop-up? All buttons and links that target that pop-up will no longer work, meaning they won't be clickable. They won't have an action happen when you click on them. Totally fine because I'm not going to be using that pop-up. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Now I wanna make sure to select my pop-up that I want to be triggered once I have that button clicked. So I wanna select that again here, but I wanna note that you can create pop-ups within a page as well. This is gonna be really handy if you have maybe multiple buttons on the page, each you want to have a different pop-up trigger and then thus opt-in information collected on, for example, where you're sending it to different locations. To create a new pop-up, all you need to do is say create new pop-up, and this will create a new pop-up within the page. And of course, you can edit this pop-up as you're wanting. Now, as we come back here, you're going to see when I go edit click event and I look at that drop-down menu, my pop-up two is gonna be selected because I created it here, but I can always switch that back to my pop-up one, but I'm going to be able to view those pop-ups. Now that we know how to view, edit, and delete on-page pop-ups, there are just a few quick things that I wanted to make sure to mention. There is a limit to the number of pop-ups that will show within a page or site, and that number is 24. So in this list here, a maximum of 24 pop-ups will show. Also, if you have more than 10 pop-ups present on a page or a site, so more than 10 on-page pop-ups showing in your list here, that page or site will not be able to be duplicated. Thanks for hanging out with me for this tech tip. And don't forget, if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away.